our YouTube is it's Roxanne from Roxas Cards and Crafts. And today I'd like to share with you how to share an SVG file on Facebook. Uh, you used to be able to do this with quite simply, um, but we've got to do a few things to tweak the extension file or the file extension I should say, excuse me, which is .svg and I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. So you'd have a folder, I've got a folder called SVG Files for Design Space. I currently use um, a Cricut Explore Air 2 but this can be used with a lot of die cutting machines these days as we all tend to use scalable vector graphics. Um, in order to be able to do this, you need to be able to see the file extension and that file extension is the .svg. You know how you see things like .pdf, uh, .jpeg, they're all file extensions. We use the .svg and to change that, um, this is what we call File Explorer. And obviously just to find that you just go down and type File Explorer. Usually on the home, but we need you to go over to View and make sure that this file name extensions box is ticked. If it's not ticked, you don't see your file extension. So we need to tick this. So that's your first step. So the second step is choosing the file that you're going to share. I'm just going to uh, rename that. As this is the one I'm going to share. I'll just delete that. And um, so what I'll show you is if we go into the Facebook group and this is a, a Facebook group that I co-admin called Cricket Gold Coast. So if you're on the Cricket, if, if you're on the Gold Coast in Australia, come on over and join our little team. Because I'm starting to do some exciting stuff for everybody, hopefully. I just wanted to show you that if you just went to the files over here to the left and went to upload a file and just went to choose I went to choose um, one of these files as is so we're, we're, we're using the rocking horse so if we need to choose it as is and went save so it's rocking horse dot SVG if I save that now as is it won't let me do it. It just says, sorry, this feature isn't available right now. It will never be available for SVGs. So what we have to do is, we have to choose a file, and we're going to choose that Rocking Horse file. Just click on it so it's highlighted, then right click. And I want you to go down to Rename. Click on the end of the extension, which is your .svg, and add another G. So it now reads rockinghorse.svgg. Click off your file and it says if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? So we want to press yes. And it changes. So what we need to do is to, oh no, we're going to right click that and select it now. Now, when you upload this file, it automatically links onto your discussion, onto the discussion part in your group. So give it a good description. So we've got Rocking Horse uh, Stencil by Roxanne. and look for image in 
comment section below. And I'm saying that now because you can't upload Okay, yeah, look for the image in comment section. Good old, good old spell checker. In the comment section below, sorry, um, I, I say that now because we can't load a picture with the file. So we've got Rocking Horse SVGG and we're going to simply save. So it's quite an easy process once you get used to it. And there we go, it's been saved. Uh, so you're coming along, and you're on the discussion, and you go, oh, Roxanne's added a new SVG file. What I want you to do is, I don't want you to download it. Downloading takes it to your download section. A uh, much faster way of doing it is just to right-click it, Save link as um, take it to the folder that you want to save it to. I'm putting it in the original folder that I showed you before. Then I want you to go to the file name and click on the end of SVGG and backspace. And now this one I'm just going to rename it test so that you can see that it's um, uploaded into my file section. I want you to go to the next line, save as type, go over and change it to all files. It's just so it opens next time. So now you can see, so you can see that. Okay, so test rocking horse, move the extra G and save. Pressing again. Now while I'm on this, you're going to need to put a picture along with this rocking horse. You can see there's no pictures. So I go to the comment section, go over to attach a photo or video. It is in my Take a little screenshot by using your clipping tool while you're designing it and then upload it. So you can go in there and edit this later, but right now this is for my group. I'm also going to put a picture of that in my photos. I haven't finished. Okay, I'm going to leave this. Nah. Yep, leave that. Photos, albums, stencil. Add a photo. I want to add you. And I will go in and say something about that a bit later on. But that's another that's another tutorial. Alrighty now let's get into Alright. I'll go into design space for you so many things. Open up design space because there's a little problem sometimes that design space has when importing files. So I'm just going to up, nope, yep, upload, image upload, browse, uh, rocking horse test a CSVG file because we changed it. Let's go to save and let's bring it in to now. I've brought it in because you can see it over here. What you need to, I mean, you, we can vaguely see it there and you can just bring it over with your arrows. But what you need to do, I'm going to get it off the screen again. What you need to do if you can't see it is just go to your position and just go X0 and then Y0 and that'll bring it onto the screen for you. 
Well, we've got it on here. We'll go save. Rocking horse. And it's a stencil because I made it into a stencil. And go save. So I hope that helps somebody today with how to share and retrieve your SVG files from people that have shared it in Facebook. Um, please like, share and subscribe and um, yeah, hope we can catch up again soon. Bye for now.